I'm pissed! I screwed up my hitch that I'm working on for my uh, moto trailer. Let me explain what I did. Amateur mistake. I had everything perfectly aligned and measured for this piece uh, that goes on the back of the swing arm. And everything was working great, and then I needed to cut this X brace, or weld this X brace on. Actually, it worked just fine without it, but I kind of wanted to put it on there anyway to kind of help strengthen the uh, the side-to-side -side rocking motion. And uh, I just did it. I, I didn't do anything to this side while I did it. And so, amateur mistake, when you heat steel up, when you weld it, it, it uh, shrinks. So what ended up happening was this is now too narrow to fit between the back of my bike. I don't have an oxyacetylene torch and my friend's dad that has one, it's, uh, he's getting it repaired. It's not going to be ready till next week. So what I'm going to attempt to do, I, I could wait till next week, but ain't nobody got time for that. What I'm going to do is just attempt to bend it backwards a little bit. Here's a, a uh, piece of two inch square two. It's just like heavy duty stuff. But the height of it there, I'm thinking what I can do is, is uh, pull this apart and wedge this in. Once it's wedged in, now I've got it about the distance that I want. Then I'll heat uh, one of these legs up really hot and then stop and let it cool down. And then hopefully pulling this out, it, it may come back a little bit, but hopefully not all this direction. That's my theory at least. I'm going to try that. If it doesn't work, I may just wait until I can get a uh, actual torch and torch to, to do this that way. But the, the other problem with using a torch is these bearings. Last time I built one of these, I didn't realize how close this has to be because these tolerances. So it, it actually took uh, quite a bit. I had to hammer this in to get it to get it in there just right. So I'm also hoping that heating this up and then letting it cool down will get those back into the right uh, alignment so then I can slide this tube in and out a lot easier without having so much resistance. It has to slide in easy without resistance because any resistance at all is gonna make this thing impossible to add or remove when I'm actually out in the field because the axle is, is uh, you know hollow it only has enough room for this tube so if this thing moves any at all it will end up getting too much friction running through that thing and i won't be able to get it through maybe i could with a hammer but then once it comes out the other side good luck getting it to line up with that bearing so like i said i had all this stuff perfect till i welded that x brace in what i probably should have done was already had something like this in there and tacked it so that it wouldn't bend uh, and then just cut this off when I was done. Or at the very least, just left this rod in. Instead, I had it pulled out. I actually even had the bearings pulled out because I was fixing to paint it. And then I thought, once all this occurred, I realized I need to put these bearings back in so I can get it all measured back out. So what I'm going to try to do here, because I already tried uh, forcing this in. I'm not strong enough. I'm going to just use my um, engine hoist here. Uh, to separate it apart, shove this in, and then we'll go from there. It's already starting to split. There we go. That's all I need right there. So that still slides slides a little bit easier than it was last time. But again, once I heat up one of these legs and let it cool down, hopefully that gets even easier. So there's my contraption I built uh, <laughs> to in order to get the... I got a thing of map gas and uh, another propane torch, both hitting these uh, steel pipes. And I built this little uh, cage, I guess, to try to contain as much heat as I can and then I've got this thing elevated on just scrap pieces of metal so that I don't have to sit here and hold this thing forever but the pipe on the left is already glowing pretty bright the one on the right I guess I kind of need it'd be nice if I could move this there maybe I'll do that and get some more heat on this other one nice and hot then I'll give it plenty of time to cool down.
Okay, so now the back of that other pipe's glowing. It's uh, cooled down, at least, you know, to the touch. And if you look at it, at this angle, you can see it did bend at that point. You know, this one's straight down. This one right there where it's missing the paint is kind of bent outwards a little bit. So I'm gonna knock that piece of square tubing out and let's measure and see how much of a difference it made. It is 12, almost 13 inches. Probably, I don't know. I may be able to work it like that. Hey, that actually went on really well. So the other option is I uh, heat it up again and add maybe a piece of flat bar in there. Maybe heat the other side this time. Um, put that same piece of square tubing in and maybe a real like a 1 16th or 1 8 inch flat bar in there heat it up again I'm debating on if I should actually uh, bend this a little bit more it fits okay it seems to be riding okay but considering I'm gonna have the actual trailer on the back of this it does add some weight and it makes it harder to get this thing lined up and so you saw how much I struggled just to get it lined up just now yeah, I think I think I do want to bend it out a little bit more. So let me uh, get get this put back in, and we'll. Uh, I'm glad that the rod's sliding easy though. I was a little nervous about that. This hitch, I've got quite a bit of time. This is version number two of the hitch, and I've spent a pretty decent amount of time on this version two. So I really hope I didn't screw it up by trying to reinforce it. As you can see, I did this side, and I also heated up this side. So I did it again. I added a 1 8 inch uh, piece of flat bar just to kind of shim it out a little bit. And now, it's just perfect. Not too hard. So, get that started. Get it lined up straight. And then it should just slide in fairly easily once you get it all lined up. Yep. Perfect. It should be going through. There we go. Just had to hit it a little harder. There we have it. I think I was covering up the camera the whole time, wasn't I? So that's how I fixed it. Uh, just a couple propane torches. I didn't need an oxyacetylene torch. And it's, uh, you know, there we go. I got the X-brace on there and it still clears the fender for the most part, uh, there. I mean, eventually it's gonna, it's gonna hit something eventually. I can't stop it from doing that without making it super long, and I don't want it to be super long, but I mean, that's a pretty big angle. I would think I shouldn't be, at least while I have a trailer, I shouldn't be taking angles that big. If I do, then I guess the next step would just be to get a fender eliminator. So now I'm gonna clean this thing up, get it painted, and get it ready for, uh, for some actual road tests.